Hey YouTube, it's Sean. And today we are making ourselves a homemade fume extractor out of a furnace squirrel cage fan. And that thing puts out some serious CFM. Serious power uh, air movement. So, I, got, I went to the hardware store and bought a flange. They didn't have one with a with a round bottom. So, let's bring it in here. So I bought this, and I'm just flared it out. I'm going to rivet that to that, and I'm going to put seal all the way around it. Sealer. And then, later I'll uh, finish this and do my neck. But, yeah. it's The best part is, it's 12 volt, which I needed. Come out of a furnace. It only draws 2 amps at 12 volts. Well, my heating system in here is 12 volts. It's propane. And my propane is all outside. But I have, you know, my furnace, which is 12 volts. And I have a each right there. Uh, let me turn some light on, guys. I have a 30 amp power supply running the the shop, you know, the the system, right? So I got plenty of 12 volt. We just needed we just needed to be able to. Uh, well, we're welding with either that or the Hobart, the big one. We just need to be able to bring the bring the hose down here and suck the fumes outside right so this is the first step all right there's part one guys yep all right and that way when I have my door shut um, I can have that running and be able to weld and everything goes outside or most of it you know Sucking welding fumes is really bad for you, so that's what this is about. Alright, there's part one, guys. I'll show you part two very soon. Thumbs up, guys. Bye-bye.